Hi YouTube, this is Rosemary. I um uh, have uh I don't know if I just really want to talk about how some of us can feel after being out a while or if I'm talking to people that are just starting out. So hear me out. Yesterday I went through a very uh tough time and I am so thankful that I spend time uh, in devotion in the mornings because if I didn't, I think I'd go bananas. I'd go crazy. But um, God reveals some things to me, and it's it's amazing. I don't know if I'm if I'm if I'm explaining myself, but I tend to be pretty. Uh, understanding about what happens with um, my body I've always been a very slow loser always it has frustrated me to the point where I just refuse to give up I'm a fighter and I'm fighting <laughs> I'm fighting to the last pound you know I'm just like oh <laughs> and um, I don't know. Yesterday I saw someone um, she's amazing. She has gotten to the goal that um, that she is happy with. She's gotten to that number. You know, we all want that certain number. And for me it's not about trying to be skinny. I'm not trying to be skinny. I'm trying to be comfortable. And not that I'm not comfortable now. See, that's 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 where the confusing part comes in it's not that I'm not comfortable now I'm very comfortable I can wear almost anything I want but there's a certain number that I've always wanted to see and I bet you guys know because I say it all the time <laughs> I've always wanted to see a hundred and thirty and still take five pounds off to get to 125 so that I have that five pounds to play with right and I was thinking yesterday and kind of bummed out and kind of trying to analyze everything and tell myself you know Rosemary and I have to talk to myself guys if you think that's crazy oh well <laughs> I think we all do it right but I got to thinking <clears throat> and I say okay Rosemary so what are you going to do about it? Is there anything you can do about it right now? And I have to tell myself, well, at this particular moment, no. Rosemary, have you done everything in your power? Yeah, let's see. I've exercised. <laughs> I've done the protein. I've, I'm doing the water. I bumped it up then that's all you can do Rosemary that's all you can do for today for today because remember yesterday's gone I've already said it before and, to, and tomorrow's not promised so Rosemary you're doing good babe do you remember when you were 447 pounds? You couldn't cross your legs. You couldn't hardly breathe. You couldn't walk without <laughs> hurting most of the time. You sat to cook. You called your daughters for everything you needed. Bring me the onions. Bring me the bell peppers. Bring me this. Bring me that. My poor girls were going back and forth all the time in the kitchen. You've come a long way, Rosemary. I don't know who I'm going to help today. I know I'm helping me. Because I talk to myself and encourage myself all the time. Are you doing that? Just thinking about it. How many people are doing that? How many people are, 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 are really, really telling themselves, you're doing a darn good job today. Wow. 
You've taken your vitamins. You've taken your water. You've done your protein. I stay, I do my best to stay at less than 20 carbs a day. And I've always done that because remember, I started with the Atkins diet. So, um, how many do that? How many pat themselves on the back? There's not enough people patting themselves on the back and saying, I'm doing good. Too many of us are looking to other people and looking at them and saying, why are they a success and why am I not a success? Why are they getting to that number and why am I not getting to that number? Instead of saying, I am getting to that number that I want. I'm working on me. I'm not working on him or her. I'm working on this body. What am I doing for this body? What am I doing for me? For me. For me. For me. Sometimes you've got to give yourself a hug. Sometimes you got to say, you're doing it right. You just got to give it some time. If I've told you anything today, I hope that I've told you that you've got the right to love yourself at whatever your weight is. Rosemary, I'm telling myself that I need to love myself at whatever weight I am. And I'm getting to the number that I want to get to. Also, I have skin that weighs, I'm thinking between 10 to 15 pounds on my body. Because my legs were not taken care of. My sides were not taken care of. It was just my stomach. And so there's still a lot of that 447 pound skin lady that was, you know, back six years ago. So I need to stop being so hard on me and start patting myself on the back for doing good today. Today. Not yesterday. Not what I did yesterday. But what am I doing today to love myself? What am I doing today to care about what I'm putting in here, what I'm thinking up here, and it will have results out here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for my comments. They mean the world to me. I, um, I was amazed last night. I, I did my video and then I went to bed. I told you I was kind of bummed. And uh, I wake up this morning and I have 31 comments. 31 people that took the time to tell me something nice. Ugh, I'm not going to cry. But that's what this community is about. Holding each other accountable and holding each other just for the hell of it. Yeah, I said it. Just because we need a hug. And those comments, that's what they give us. I love you guys. I really do. And uh, I can't wait to meet you and give you a big old hug. And the ones that I don't meet, you're in here. And you're in here on my fingers when I, when I comment to your videos. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for caring. There's so many that don't care anymore. We need to care. I love you, and I'll be back. Bye for now.